All right, what is going on, guys? It is Adam A.K. Marf, and this is Marfugal News. Today, we are going over some really, really creepy stuff. So, as always, if you are uh, not prone to watching scary movies, then you might not want to watch this. If you don't like scary movies, don't watch scary movies. Uh, today, we're talking about some very concerning and anxiety-causing uh, stories here because now France is saying that they are on high alert. Uh, the U.S. is saying that the threats are on a, an entire other level. Majority of people are not paying attention to this. They're probably watching Diddy uh, and his house getting raided and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, but meanwhile, it, you have uh, all of this going on. So if you did not hear, the French government is raising its terror alert uh, warning to its highest level following the uh, events that went down in Moscow. Prime Minister Gabriel Attal said on Sunday after a meeting with senior security and defense officials with President Emmanuel uh, Macron. Attal said that in his post on X that the decision, which comes months before Paris hosts the Olympic Games, was taken in light of the IS's uh, Islamic states claiming responsibility for the attack and the threats weighing on our country. Country. France's T system alert system has three levels and the highest level is activated in the wake of an attack in France or abroad or when a threat of one is considered to be imminent. Again, they are saying when a threat is considered to be imminent. Now, before uh, the Russia event, we actually had uh, it, something that came out. It was the uh, U.S. Embassy told American citizens living abroad in Russia, uh, they, they warned them. They said, hey, this is a huge thing. Avoid, uh, avoid these uh, uh, venues. Avoid specific venues. They, in fact, it actually only listed one. It says avoid that kind of venue uh, where that event happened. Uh, for the next 48 hours. Now, that was two weeks before, which is, you know, obviously in the next 48 hours, I even did an update. I said, where is this imminent thing that's going to happen? And then, of course, I even checked up on it after about a week, and I said, where is this event? And then after two weeks or about a week and a half, that happened, right? And everybody has their own kind of questions about the whole thing. Not everybody believes half of the stories that they're telling about all of it. Uh, there's a lot of weird things. But again, mainly we're looking at like how how the world is reacting to this and what kind of era are we in? Are we in a chaotic era, as the three bottom uh, body problem would have said, right? Are we in a chaotic era right now? It seems like it. I remember, of course, uh, over the last 20 years, we had all of these kind of zones where the U.S. had our own problems. Uh, remember, we had kind of a stage where everybody was driving vehicles up on sidewalks. We had a stage where people were, you know, taking a, a snipe out the back window of a car. Uh, several of those kind of events, several kind of copycats uh, randomly taking people out. We had, of course, the uh, going into a grocery store and doing that kind of thing. We had all of these uh, going into churches, this kind of thing. Uh, it's like we have these zones. And are we in one of those zones again right now? That's that's the scary part about this. With everything else that is adding up, uh, this is very, very concerning. Now, mind you, as preppers, we're trying to prep for this. This isn't to scare you. This is more to prepare you for the possibility of something happening so that you can actually be aware of everything that's going on. Mind you, you are uh, absorbing all of this. You've seen all of this. You're following this. You know, but you should know that absolutely there's a ton of people around you that are not, that probably have never even, uh, you know, paid attention to these kinds of events. They don't even know about this. Uh, mind you, a lot of people will uh, purposely pay attention to anything other uh, than the bad stuff on, on the news. But again, they are the ones who are unprepared for disasters. They're the ones when a disaster happens, they're knocking at your door asking, hey, what do I do? So again, this is really, really scary timing for this, especially since we're in 2024 where so many things are lining up. Before we uh, go any further, let's bring in my co slash internet brother, Dex James. What is going on and how are you doing today? Well, hello, Adam, and hello, Fugle fam. You know, I'm doing just fine myself, but I'm very concerned with uh, the state of affairs right now across the globe, but more so, what does it mean to us here in the U.S.? So I'm kind of a little bothered with this. Yeah, and 
uh, mind you, there's a lot of people that think, oh, this is Ganda, this is uh, an op, or whatever whatever you think it is. Look at what the uh, timeline has been on all of these different events that have gone down. NATO is saying that there's going to be a conflict with Russia. Uh, you, of course, have China uh, loading up with Taiwan and the Philippines. You've got Venezuela and Guyana. You've got Israel and, of course, uh, and um uh, Iran, you have India and Pakistan and India and, of course, China. They're all lining up. Uh, and, of course, there's a lot of two-facery going on in NATO. Uh, NATO is fragile. We just did a video on how similar uh, the intro to Red Dawn is to right now, the, the, the life we are living right now. And then, of course, everything in the U.S. that we have happening that is splitting and dividing people right down the middle. I mean, there's uh, there's issues that people will never see eye to eye on. Almost every one of them is being pushed on a daily basis down our throats. So this is not good timing. Now, before we move on, remember, we're completely independent. We're going up against behemoths and goliaths. If you do want to support us and protect yourself at the same time, one of the most probable events, if, if we do have an SHTF, obviously a lot of people know that they will go for the communications and our power grid first. If this does happen, there is a way you can protect your cars, trucks, motorcycles, boats, houses, generators against not only an EMP strike from an adversary, an electromagnetic pulse, but also from a Carrington level event from the sun obviously a lot of solar events are going on we're in solar cycle 25 in one of the most unpredictable cycles of our lifetimes uh, and many lifetimes actually uh, but this will protect it and ground the signal in less than 400 uh, 500 trillionths of a second before it's able to fry your device go to marfuglenews.com emp and make sure to use the code marf you'll get 50 dollars off per device it takes 10 minutes to put in your car really if you have uh, the ability to get it then uh, you have no excuse why not to put it in. Red to red on your battery, black to black on your battery, and green to ground, and then bolt to the side of your engine block, and you're good. It's very, very easy, less than 10 minutes, and you don't have to be a genius. Marfuglenews.com slash EMP. Now, the as far as everybody is now torn, too, on this whole deal with... Uh, our threat levels and our government is telling us that the threat levels are on an, a whole other level. Uh, Dex, do you want to go over what our government is saying? Well, you know, we've we've been saying this for a little while, uh, that it's at a whole nother level. And this also went hand in hand with um, the FBI chief saying that uh, we've had a lot of people coming across uh, the, the border down below from particular countries and potentially having ties to particular organizations. One of the organizations he talked about just so happens to be the same one that they're now trying to pin on the one that happened over in Vlad's country. Not necessarily with the letter uh, K after it, but the first four initials are the exact same. So um, just want to re rewind and re remind, so to speak, that that's what they told us. Um, it also gets me wondering or, or even more concerned is if if there's something, you know, we, we may have to worry about that, whether it's a orchestrated event or whether it's an organic event. But then when you look back at the large events that have happened in our country that have rallied the country around an initiative, such as the one that happened in the Middle East, that thing that happened to us in 2001 that caused everyone to be on board with doing everything we did in the Middle East for so many years. It just makes me wonder if there's something else going to happen that's going to be that, you know, ignition system, so to speak, to get people behind spending the money to go back to conflict, whether that be something with against uh, Vlad's country and I guess potentially supporting UKR and NATO uh, or if it's something else. And that's what bothers me the most is that we're in this period. Uh, and not only that, it's the selection process coming up too so all of these things are coming together and the warning signs are at an all-time high across the board and i, I want to remind folks it, it, uh of course we've we've done so many different shows you can go over to marfuglenews.com not only can you find a full bibliography of every single article tweet video picture document that we share here today so you have the source for that uh, but also you have uh, our previous shows. So we don't have a crystal ball. We have a great community full of active and retired military folks, law enforcement agents. Again, we have a lot of local police and sheriffs. Uh, we have people that are serving right now. 
Uh, again, lots of really, really great people out here that are giving us great information. A lot of it, it again, goes over on my Twitter, so make sure to follow me over there. Uh, but another kind of Pearl Harbor event, that's the, the scariest thing is, so if you understand the, the kind of how uh, Pearl Harbor changed World War II and really started it for the U.S., uh, that's what we have been talking about and I have been talking about for five years. If there was an event like a Pearl Harbor, uh, an event that hits us so hard that it gets us involved, uh, that's what we we are not wanting, but we're looking for it to happen, and that's what's being warned about. Now, even if France has a really, really bad event, they're NATO, and if, if they end up finding some sort of re recourse on uh, one of the countries that we're currently at proxy with, then that's bad as well. Uh, now, Russia is, of course, saying all sorts of things about uh, they're, they're pointing fingers, like we said on the first day that all this happened. They're pointing fingers our way. Um, so either way, how they perceive it is really what could cause actions to, to be taken. Uh, but yeah, avoiding, this is 2019, by the way. Uh, there's actually newer ones. Pearl 2.0, if you search that, I believe in the, the top right-hand corner of the website, you'll find a show which I think has a lot of relevance right now, uh, again, over on marfuglenews.com. So, um, and then UK, terror threat at highest level since 2001. Again, the threat of imminent a T attack, and we're saying T for T mm -mm -er, in the UK is rising. Senior security officials have allegedly armed, uh, warned MPs. Uh, it says the Mail on Sunday has reported that politicians are increasingly being warned about the danger of T attacks following an upsurge in extreme activity as a result of the conflict in the Middle East. So, I mean, yeah, you can think, oh, this is a bunch of this or a bunch of that, or it's good. The one thing I don't think that's going to be, and I don't hear a lot of people saying, is this is a nothing burger or it's going to be a nothing burger. People are just arguing about what the actual motivation behind it is. Now, mind you, if you're looking at the big picture of things, if they're going to change our world, take us off of the U.S. dollar, off of petroleum, which the U.S. dollar is leaning on, if they're really saying by 2030, and they, we just covered passing laws that they're going to basically ban gas cars, how in the heck, if the U.S. dollar is the petrodollar and all of these conflicts have been over petrol, what the heck, how are we supposed to change that without resetting of some sort? How are they going to change the, the order of things unless something seriously gets broken down? So keep that in mind. Really look at the basics of what they're saying, uh, where we're going in the next 10 years, and think how can they actually get there without us having some sort of huge collapse? It's really hard when you start doing the math on it. Uh, two plus two does not equal eight. So, uh, again, very, very crazy stuff. Make sure to go check out our website and make sure to watch our next show. Again, if you're watching the replay right about here, will be uh, Marfugal TV, our full two-hour show on everything that's going on. Make sure to click here if you would like to see that or click the icon and subscribe. Thank you, guys, and thank you, Dex. I appreciate your help today. Much love. Great job, brother. We'll see you in a few minutes over on Marfugal TV. 